actually. I don't know. I guess it's just gonna have to say the way. How are you, Veta? Thank you for being here. Manuel, welcome. I am also good. Please, hello. I got my videos done for the day. I got my workout done for the day. Lizzie, hello. <laughs> you look like you're blushing. I am blushing. Because all of you are so beautiful. Thanks for being here. If you're new here, click the follow button. Don't always have to screen while we wait for people to get in here. I appreciate it so much. And there's leprechauns. It's St. Patrick's Day. So drop some leprechauns for your boy. I couldn't find them for the goal, but I know they're there. But they weren't showing up for me. Who in here has leprechauns in your gifts? Let it be known. Hello, shop. Crystal Kiki's hello. How are you, Shell Rides? Happy belated birthday. So, it was it was not my birthday yesterday. Every single day, I post a Super Ken Classic. So I've been posting all my viral videos from the past. My birthday is August 30th. And if you loved me, you would know that, Shell Rides. If you loved me and you paid attention, you would know that I'm a Virgo and my birthday is August 30th. So yesterday was not my birthday. It was just a Super Ken Classic. It was a viral video from the past that I reposted. But thank you. So many people text me, sent me messages. Like, bro. Way to be a good friend. Way to be a good friend and not remember that my birthday is in fucking August. <laughs> I was wondering. I thought it was later in there. Yeah. My birthday is in August. But it's okay. Um, Crazy Princess Hall. I appreciate it. I appreciate the happy birthdays, even though it wasn't my birthday. <laughs> it's okay, she rides. How are you? I'm great. Totally not obsessed with K-pop. How are you? I remember my first my first interaction with K-pop fans. I was in Chicago, and um, I was I think I was working Girls on the Run. I don't know. I was doing something for Dick Sporting Goods. I didn't do setup for them. And then af afterwards, I went to Portillo's, which is a hot dog place in Chicago. And it was full of teenage girls and their moms. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And there was a mom who's like, my girls are just so obsessed with BTS. I'm like, is that what's going on here? And sure enough, there was a BTS concert. So the city, the city was just full. The city was just full with, um, was it BTS or was it Blackpink? One of the two. Good day, Super Ken. Hello, Charles from, from, I'm guessing, Britain. Can you say good day? It was full of K-pop fans, one way or the other. I've never seen so many teenage girls in my entire life. I don't think it was Blackpink, but maybe it was. Bella, hello. I think black pink was in the area. What is that? Jazz, hello. Mr. Ken, welcome. Thank you for being here. Good evening. How are you? How are you doing? Long time no see. Well, thank you for being here. Donna Shelton, hello. You're doing good? I'm glad you're doing good. Busy in life. Well, hound, hello. K Bell's welcome. How you been? I've been good. Thanks for being here. My face is really pink. Like, I don't know if, what's going on. Why, why my face is so pink today? I don't make vids a lot like I used to. We'll make more videos, puppets and friends. Do your thing. I was up late last night and came across your gaming videos. I could imagine your hand gestures oh, when I'm doing my reviews. It's okay, you're still handsome, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm glad you can imagine me 
and my review is talking. Because I'm not. I'm usually hunched over a microphone like this. Actually, I do. Now that I think of it, I do use my hands while I record my reviews. Billy made 22 videos in two weeks. We'll get on it. 22 videos, I make that in four days. Jessica, how are you? Roman Tick Red, hello. Or Tick Red. Hi, handsome. How are you, Roman? Shout out from the Philippines. Well, well, shout out to the Philippines. Everybody who's new here, click the ball button. I appreciate it so much. Double tap the screen. Drop those corgis. Drop some unicorns for your boy. It's Leprechaun Day. I'm wearing green. Drop a leprechaun. I couldn't find leprechauns to make it a goal, but I know that they're there. Did you recently do skincare routine? I did do skincare routine recently, yes. I literally just did skincare routine like an hour ago. I want to make more videos, but I'm not going to run it again. We'll do your thing. Push through. You're in gray and blue today. I didn't put the green on on purpose. I didn't realize it was um, St. Patrick's Day. You know, I was like, I never wear that green shirt. Let me throw it on. And then somebody was talking about it in their lab. I was like, oh, how perfect. If you have a black leather jacket and can wear it, I will subscribe to you. Your move, bro. Click the subscribe button. Become a love ranger and the leather jacket goes on. Chantel from Mississippi, hello. Jess, hello. It works well with the green shirt. <laughs> you have a blue leather jacket? Wow, well, thank you for the ball. I have a blue leather jacket in my picture, but um, that jacket is no more. The jacket has been through the ringer. Chantel, thank you for the follow. You're going to go back to sleep? Well, good night. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Mr. Ken. Y'all don't have to call me Mr. Ken. It's Mr. Daddy. Ken Daddy. Super Ken Daddy. Daddy Super Ken. Still have work tomorrow. Take care always. Love the tan leather jacket. Looks dope. A tan leather jacket. I don't know if I've ever seen one. Oh, I have seen one. Tan leather does look good. Tan leather is very futuristic, I feel. <laughs> Cindy, hello. Click the subscribe. Become a love ranger. Wilhound, thank you for becoming a love ranger. Here you go. You get the leather jacket. Everybody can thank Wilhound for this. And that is okay. Now we got the now we got the black and green. There you go. There you go, Wilhelm. Thank you so much for becoming a Love Ranger. And you are going to be the Leather Jacket Ranger. It's love and time. And I appreciate you so much. You're so pretty. Well, thank you, Madame and Angel. 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 Angela. Have you ever reached 69 subscribers? I have. The most I've got at one time is probably 72 subscribers, I think, is the most we've we've had at once. So everybody needs, we need to get there again. Click the subscribe, become a Love Ranger. It's only one lunchable month. And you get love next to your name, just like Will. And you get to use cute emotes. This is cute. And Brunch Daddy. And I follow you back. And you get a Love Ranger color live in front of everybody. Well, I'm following you back. You're the puppet ranger, right? You're not any ranger until you become a Love Ranger. You got to become a Love Ranger. Um, I followed you back. Will. World Country 99. Hello. Every Love Ranger, I click the ball button. You should send photos photos to a modeling agency. Here's my here's the thing, is I'm too awkward to model. How do I do that? How do you become a Love Ranger? You click the star, put in your information, and subscribe. I mean, if you wanna auto subscribe, that's even better. But you can do one month at a time or two months at a time. I think. I'm I'm too awkward to be a model. Like, I look better in videos than I do in pictures. So if a girl's like, oh, send me something cute, I'll send a video. I never send a picture because I just can't. I can't send a picture. I don't feel like I look good still. But in motion, I look I look fine. <laughs> no, you're not. Bethy, hello. Hello, Vaughn. <laughs> you're not too awkward. I definitely am. It's a nutty nurse. From yesterday. I changed my name. Well, hello, Nutty Nurse. Take a picture in video mode. Yeah, that's what I do. Like, um, when girlfriends want to take a selfie with me, 
what I'll do is I'll put a video. I'll do video and we'll just like pose and be cute and kiss and whatever. And then you just take a screenshot of the video. So much easier. Do you have to be 18 and older to be a Love Ranger? I don't know the rules for subscribing. I had to switch my driver's license. Terrible picture. My driver's license picture is awful too. And like I did the, I paid for it to last longer. And I'm like, of course, you got, took a shitty picture of me. That's going to last for six more years. You know, I got like the eight year, the eight years driver's license. <laughs> that's, so, that's so smart. That's what I do. Like, I'll just take, I'll just take a video and then I'll just screenshot. It works. I just would. Oh, you have to be 18 years or older to subscribe. That makes sense. Maddie 0618. Hello. My passport photo looks like my passport photo is good because the passport girls hooked me up. You know, like I there were there were two girls and they were um they're posing me. They were um they're like, we're gonna take multiple pictures, we're gonna pick the best one. Because they usually don't do that. They usually you usually go, it's one and done. They take a picture, you're done. Not these girls. These girls were looking out for my best interest when it came to my passport. And shout out to them. Shout out to the passport girls. Who cared? How long have you been doing TikTok and do you still enjoy it? I've been doing TikTok for a year and a month now. One year and one month. Do I still enjoy it? I sure do. I love hanging out with y'all. I've been going live for almost almost a year. I think in I either started in March, I mean either in April or May, I can't remember. Can I still be a ranger? Um, Puppet and Friends, you can be an honorary ranger if you drop a corgi. I accepted the fact how terrible it is and accepted it. Where have you been with your passport? Um, I've only been to Bali. And technically, I have a page dedicated to China because um, there was a layover in China and it was 24 hours, so they made me enter the country, which is unfortunate. If you're in a place for more than 24 hours, you have to leave so that you can get your bag and then come back. You're not you're not allowed staying in the airport for 24 plus hours. And it's dumb. And I hate it. Gotta go need to get my motorbike in the garage. It's raining. I'll be waiting. Where are you traveling to? Right now, I have no plans to travel anywhere. Anywhere out of country. Drop a corgi. Make a corgi shake its ass. I'm jealous with his with his DM. The worker gave me options, but of course my eyes were in mid blank. I haven't left America, but may take my mom somewhere one day. That'll be fun. At least a layover was in North Korea, true. How was Bali? I love Bali. Bali was amazing. How long were you there for? For three weeks. I stayed three weeks in Bali. Love the jacket and shirt color combo. Thank you, BTS Army. I appreciate you. Yeah, so I, I did a three-week trip in Bali, and I loved every minute of it. I think you were right about my ex. He was messaging me all night about missing, <laughs> missing cuddling. You think? Hey, Beth, I know you're new here. But Super Ken's never wrong. I'm always right. You need to visit Japan. I would love to visit Japan. Did you eat, pray, love your stay in Bali? I, I love my stay in Bali. Um, I would love to go to Japan one day. Zaddy, hello. Japan's definitely on the list of places to go. Always love this welcome. You, I would be very popular. Japan seems very welcoming. That's awesome. That y'all just love people to come and visit you. Leon, hello. 
and everything and how he felt like he wants me but doesn't want to seem like he wants to be back. Yeah, and it wasn't expensive. Like, um, the round trip, I went with my ex-girlfriend. The round trip was, I think, it was either like 800 something or 1100 for both of us. For both of us, round trip to Bali was less than $1,100, which is insane. I don't think you could do that anymore, but it was 2019. So the year before the pandemic happened. And both of us got there for less than $1,100. And then our three-week stay, including food, including, we had, we had like a bungalow in the jungle for half the time. And then we had a private villa for half the time. Plus food and experiences like hanging out with monkeys and elephants and some of the dolphins another one thousand dollars so our entire trip costs us a thousand dollars each basically for three weeks that's how cheap Bali is and if we didn't do the experiences like hanging out with dolphins and and um elephants and things like that probably fifteen hundred dollars for three weeks living like a king it was awesome how many chances would you give someone before calling it quits? I will give somebody a million chances unless they cheat. You have a million chances unless it's cheating. And cheating includes emotional cheating. You know, like if you're just a if you're just a dickhead, you get a million chances. You get all the chances in the world. But if you're a cheater, if you're disrespecting the relationship, one and done. No second chances. I can cheat. In a relationship right now because he knows that's what I want right now. I need a vacation or just a two-day trip. I need a vacation too. Hello, Shelby. That's a great deal. So he either was, like you said, or regretting his decision. Should I entertain his messages? If you want him back, you know, you can be like, look, if you want to be in my life, it's in a relationship. And if you don't want a relationship, you know... Do your thing and I'm going to, you do your thing. I'm going to do my thing, but do not let him get away with staying single, taking a break. Don't let him get away with that shit because he's just going to use you until he finds somebody else. And you're not allowed getting upset with him because we're on a break. That's why he does it. He sounds like a narcissist, to be honest. Like your ex-boyfriend sounds like a fucking narcissist. Don't fall for that shit. I have a question. Hello, Miriam. Hit me with your question. Do you think cheaters can change? A absolutely not. Cheaters. If cheaters work on themselves, they're self-aware enough to realize they have a problem. Um, they can they can learn to suppress their urge to cheat, but a cheater is a cheater. It's a behavioral pattern. Cheating is a behavioral pattern. It's who they are. Carmel, hello. Carmelita, how are you? Not you again. Hello, S. Fitzgerald. How's Ohio? Right now it's pretty warm. I think it's decent. 48 degrees, I'll take it. Thank you for the roses. Now I'm just playing around with my emotions and saying all this missing me and wanting me to cuddle and be there for him, yeah. But not in a relationship with him. We don't do that. We don't do that. We do not give the supply without, without a relationship. Make that point, put a ring on it. Hello, Reginald. You're in Ohio. How close are you to those spills? I'm pretty far from the spills. Hi, Reginald. Thanks for the roses. Carmelita. Nah, you need to set a hard boundary. Like, look, if you want cuddles, I only cuddle people I'm in a relationship with. Sorry about it. That ain't happening. This guy's not getting the best of both worlds. He's not getting cuddles whenever he wants and be on a break. This guy, this guy, giving narc vibes. I would pr honestly just move on if I were you. From everything you've said about him, I think you should just move on. Find somebody else. <laughs> Thoughts on ultimatums? Well, I just posted a video about ultimatums. Ironically, Haley Nicole, um, ultimatums should be last ditch effort. 
So if you've communicated your needs and you've asked your partner their needs and you're giving them their needs, but they're not giving you your needs, it's time for an ultimatum. And you have to mean it when you give an ultimatum. You can't you can't just threaten it. An ultimatum um an ultimatum has to be meant. You have to mean it. Otherwise, they will never take you seriously in the future. Tear me apart because he's been messaging nonstop after two weeks of nothing, then dumping. Okay, dating someone, things were amazing. Now it's constant fighting and no more sweet combos. Girl brings it up and guy says, people change. Doesn't always have to be so good. Be thankful for what, for what we still have. That sounds like somebody who wants to take zero accountability. Then girl gets mad. He turns it all on her. So gaslights. Got you. Gaslights redirects. She sticks around for it. Of course she does. She's a people pleaser. She's um. She's got a good heart. She has abandonment wounds. She doesn't want to give up on people because people give up on her. Got you. What's up, bro? Hello, Astro Archer. Yes, I'm really an angel for love. My ultimatum is bring me bagel bites, Ken, or I'll leave the line. Doesn't help his daughter is involved and tells me how he is, how she is asking about me, which is worth that's that's some narc shit because my ex-girlfriend would do that shit too. She would send me videos of her daughter being like, oh, I love you, Ken. And you're going to treat me like this? You're going to treat me like this and your daughter loves me? You're like Both of your daughters are basically in love with me. And you're going to send me videos of how much they miss me and how much they love me, but you're going to treat me like shit? I don't think so. That's some narc shit. Do you block cheaters immediately? I sure do. I looked you up on the internet. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, look, you were. I'm a new part of mature re relation into a new part of a mature relationship. I think one of your um comments got filtered, Miriam. <laughs> what did you do? I know. Hello, Kitty Bird. It is, and it fucking hurts. Yeah, he's manipulating you for sure. And she sticks around for it into a new part of a mature relationship, is what I saw. If there is another part, I don't know. How have you been, Cutie Bird? I haven't eaten in five days, but I still can do my job. I need a promotion. Astro Archer, hello. Um, so Miriam, we have we have somebody who you confront them about their bad behavior, and they say people change. You should just be thankful for what we have. Um, that shows low empathy. Basically, I'm not happy. You're not loving. You're not caring. And they take zero accountability. <laughs> I muted so fast. And then they flip it on you. Gaslighting. Are we seeing a pattern? Do we... Do we... Do we have any names for that? <laughs> do we have any po any possibilities of what this person could be? Somebody who, who starts out the relationship super loving, and once they stop being super loving, instead of instead of acknowledging that they're not loving, they just say people change. Just people change. People change. Who changes? Who just changes in the middle of a relationship? Just be just be grateful. Just be grateful that I'm still around. Miriam, just be grateful that I'm still around. And then he flips it on you. 
when when you get mad at him. But you stick around for it. What does that sound like? Sounds like a trauma bond in the making, huh? This is Zuck Zuck wants everyone to go to Facebook. He's finding the <laughs> answer. Well, e Reginald E plays, yeah, for sure. I've literally exhausted myself trying to help her here. Reginald Latin. So this is your friend you're talking about. Sounds like it sounds like love bombing. It does sound like love bombing. It sounds like love bombing. This guy sounds like a at the very least, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say narcissist. I'm not gonna call him a narcissist. I don't know enough, but the very least, a very toxic person. Your best friend is dating somebody super toxic who is creating a trauma bond with her. Somebody who actually loves you and cares about you. If you bring up things that are bothering you in a relationship, they they want to change. They want to be better for you. They don't just brush it off to the side of like just fucking deal with it. Just fucking you should be thankful I'm still even here. That's not love. Love is like I'm like I'm sorry that I've been hurting you that way. I'll adjust myself so that you feel loved. You know, like it's a partnership. It's not roommates. Like you deal with a roommate because they're paying half the I guess they're paying half the rent and it's really hard to find a roommate and and things are and things are rough right now. So I guess I'll let this roommate stay here because I guess I am lucky to have a roommate who doesn't go through my shit. Like they respect they respect my privacy. Like sure they're an asshole, but they respect my, like I guess. But you can say that about a fucking roommate, but not a partner in a relationship. Like she is she's in trouble. This girl's in trouble. And she knows my past and stuff, so I thought she she'd listen. I mean it's hard it's hard to listen, especially if the trauma bond has already started. Like she is in the beginning stages or already in a trauma bond. So that's why she can't listen. And it makes sense why she wouldn't listen. Because it's, she's too far gone. She's too far deep. And he is the relief for her. You know, he abuses her, stonewalls her, comes back, and everything's fine. And she's stuck in that cycle. She needs to break the cycle. She needs to set ultimatums, like we talked about earlier. This is bothering me. These are my needs. These are This is what I need to feel loved and cared about in a relationship. Give them to me or I'm gone. Like, it's as simple as that. They're called needs for a reason. Our love languages, we tend to give the love language that we need back. But our love languages are essentially the things that we need to feel loved and appreciated in a relationship. Gift giving, not my love language. You don't have to, you don't have to get me gifts for me to feel loved. You can never give me anything. And I still feel loved. But that's not true for everybody. Some people, when they get a gift, they feel loved. They feel cared about. They feel thought like, oh, you thought about me. You you got me a snack while you're in the gas station. That makes me feel so loved. Like some for some people, people love gifts. It's not one of mine. But you you have to give your partner what they need to feel loved. They're in a relationship with you. Why would you not want them to feel loved? Why would you not want them to feel secure and at peace? That's that's not love. That's not a relationship. That's abusive as fuck. You don't trust the guy you talk with. Barbie Jones, thank you for the ball. I'm afraid if I stick around to support him with the depression and it hurts me so bad, I'll go back. Beth, you need to drop this guy. The depression thing is an act. He's not depressed. He wants to look for somebody else while you love and support him. He's hunting. He's hunting for the next girl, Beth. I promise you he's looking for somebody else while he uses you as supply. Nobody takes a break with somebody they love. People take a break so that they can feel out other options. And if the options don't want them, they have you to fall back on. You're plan Z, Beth. If somebody takes a break with you, you're plan Z. I promise. It's an act. This boy's not depressed. <laughs> They're getting married in the summer? Miriam, get me on the phone with this girl right now. I've never heard an, an analogy from him for the shit he said. An apology for the shit he said to me. Same. I don't need gifts. Cash, <laughs> cash works, though. Especially since he feels like he keeps trying to keep me attached emotionally. 
and then tells me I can't give advice anymore because I chose to be alone and, <laughs> and don't understand. I mean, she's got to learn. You know, you're trying your best and you're a great friend, Maren, for trying. You know, you can't force her to leave her partner, but she's going to learn herself. She's going to learn one day. Like, why are you marrying somebody? Why are you marrying somebody who, when you tell them you hurt, they just go, people change. People change. Narcissists change because their mask falls off. Nobody just, people change. <laughs> like, lo love is love. Love doesn't change. It is what it is, you know? Love is being caring, kind, compassionate, having empathy. You don't just lose it because you change. People change. Nothing changed but the mask he was wearing. Deal with it should never be a, res a response, exactly. You did this live so late today? Every single day, I do the live at 3 o'clock now, Reginald. 3 p.m. Eastern Time. I had a best friend that I, I love, but never since she started dating again. It hasn't been, been cool. He asked me if I missed him and flipped and said, I bet, bet you didn't. I don't take breaks with people I'm obsessed with. So I expect the same amount of others. Exactly, Reginald. 100%. I'm the maid of honor. Like, <laughs> oh no. I'm bringing Ken with me. I will for sure come to that wedding with you and stop the wedding. I will stop the wedding and do a therapy session right then and there. I'm not a therapist. I'm not a doctor. Nobody get any ideas. But I will still show up. You know? Speak now or forever hold your peace. I'm standing the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> um, also send corgis. So Reginald, gifts for relationships? No. Gifts for my fucking entertainment? You better believe it. Click the star and drop corgis. You're getting free entertainment and free information. You know how much love coaches are charging for the shit that I just give away for free? They're out here charging $100 for a fucking breakup course. Like, get the fuck out of here. $100. Uh, give me $100 and I'll teach you how to handle a breakup. You just come to the love ship. You just come to the galaxy of love and I got you for a couple corgis. <laughs> These are 59. Like, like TikTok just sent me a notification, I think yesterday or two days ago, of like, hey, you can start charging for your videos. <laughs> don't make me, don't make me put that option on, you know? <laughs> Don't make me start making series and charging for them. It just seems he knows how much of an empath I am, and I care that he's taking advantage of it. 100%. That's what they do. That's what they do, Beth. Beth, this is what I need you to do. I need you to just go on YouTube and just watch videos about narcissism. Just watch videos about being in a relationship with a narcissist and what it looks like. And if by the end of you watching the videos, you're like, oh shit, that's my situation. Because I would bet almost anything that it is. From what you've said, narc, narc all over him. Um, just watch some videos. And because I just, I feel like you've never dated a narcissist before. And you have no idea what's going on right now. Like you don't see the manipulation. You don't see the bullshit that this guy is spewing at you. Because it's all bullshit. All of it. All of it's bullshit, Beth, I promise you. Hello, Morgan. For friends who won't listen, it's best to let them learn their lesson and be be for them after. I agree with that, Will. Like you're trying your best. Like you can give somebody advice, but like you can you can lead the horse to the water. You can't make them drink. Like give her the advice, give her your perspective, and if she just doesn't want to listen, and if she's gonna insult you for because like you because you chose to because you're choosing to be alone and you don't understand like oh i've never been in a relationship before all of a sudden because i chose to be single okay the fuck that's that's like um if you wanted to be a professional boxer and muhammad ali or mike tyson wanted to coach you you'd be like why would i listen to you you don't still box you're not still boxing like bitch i've been through the ringer <laughs> That's why you listen to me. But yeah, you can you can uh, give them your perspective. Give them what you think. If they don't want to listen, Jesus, take the wheel. Let them go. Let them le learn their lesson. <laughs> I'd be watching. <laughs> I'd be watching. Can I can't don't charge us with information. I literally watched videos on that in my marriage and was like, oh snap, <laughs> oh snap, I gotta go. 
Hi, Kaylee. Yeah, I think I should go do that because this isn't healthy for me. It's not healthy for you. Like, the, this relationship's only been two months. Like, you should not be having this much issues with this guy two months in. And I wish I knew because in my narcissistic relationship, I dealt with the same thing. It was, we met in August, September, October. It was either, it was probably November. So three, mo three months later, she tried to pull the break thing on me. of Like, we should we should take a break. And I was like, no, if we're taking a break, we're breaking up. Like I, I set a boundary. I didn't know that's what I was doing. And I didn't know that I was dating a narcissist at the time, but I set a boundary. I'm like, no, if you want to take a break, we're breaking up. And we didn't take a break. We didn't break up. You know, we, la we lasted for three and a half years, but you got to put your foot down. Like do not accept breaks. Breaks are, I want to cheat on you. And I don't want you to get mad about, mad at me about it. That's all a break is. Like, healthy, healthy people don't take breaks. Like, imagine you were married. You can't take a break in marriage. Like, that's not how relationships work. We either figure this out together or we're done. This is that simple. I feel like this guy is, is a, a Narcan. Oh, the guy that you're talking to, Sarah. Right? She saw me go through this stuff. She knows why I'm single to heal, and I'm happy that matters. At the end of the screen, it sends us all invoices. Yes. No dude no dude even the whole nice guy thing, if he do shit that hurts you, gotta gotta leave that dude. Don't look back. Yeah, if somebody's hurting you, you let them know they're hurting you because some people don't understand that they're hurting you. Some people are just some people are not used to somebody speaking up to them. Some people are just used to walking all over over people. So if somebody's hurting you, you let them know, hey, like this is this shit's not gonna fly with me. Like maybe if maybe it flew with your ex-boyfriend, your ex-girlfriend, this shit don't fly with me. This ain't happening. So you you quit or I'm out. And if they don't if they don't want to quit the things that are hurting you, you go. Or you put up with it. Those are your choices. You either leave or you put up with it. And if you choose to put up with it, you're not allowed being upset with them anymore because it's your choice at that point. All I can think is Ross, we were on a break. Gotcha, Queen. Hello. You think you're unlucky? Well, just become a lucky girl. Watch all the lucky girl TikTokers. Watch all the narcissist girl TikTokers. I mean, lucky girl TikTokers. Hello, Cece. You just got protective orders? Well, that's awesome. I'm happy for you. Get that protection, girl. Just a moment, 73. Hello. I had to walk away because I was dealing with a lot of triggers. Luck, lucky girl syndrome such a red flag. If a girl's got lucky girl syndrome video, I'm like, oh, look at this, a cute little narcissist. I haven't caught your lives in a while. Hello, Morgan. <laughs> You're amazing, I swear. My ex unblocked me on Facebook and Think is watching my stories. But he has me blocked. But he has me blocked on Messenger. He block. He unblocked you on Facebook and watching your stories. But have you blocked on Messenger? I destroy Nars. Same. Probably. Should give him a show. Give him something to watch. Blow, up, blow up, girl. Live your best life. If they're gonna, if they're gonna creep, give them something to creep on. Make them for make them regret everything. Make them regret their entire life, their entire existence. Why do you do that? Because he wants to creep. He wants to see what's going on. He's hoovering. He wants he wants you to reach out, text him. He's like, I don't want to, I don't want to hurt you more than I'm hurting you right now. Bitches, it's, it's been two months. How is this boy hurting you this bad already in two months? He's just jumping right into the manipulation and trauma bonding hot. Run. Run, Beth. Run. 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 As fast as you can. Writing's on the wall, girl. This guy's a narcissist for sure. Darling House PH hello. Imagine somebody... Imagine somebody dropping that that line two months in. Like in a 
a year, two years, sure. Sure, maybe a, a narcissist will save that line for a year or two years in when they found new supply, but two fucking months? Get out of here. It sounds like he thinks way too highly of himself, exactly, 100%. Perupska, hello. Love your content? Well, thank you, darling house photography. Everybody who's new here, click the follow button. Follow me on Instagram at Superkin Gaming. I appreciate it so much. Number one red flag. If you feel like you have to protect them or feel bad, it's the victim mentality run. I respond and be like, what makes you think you're you're still affecting me? <laughs> I mean, that's a good response, Morgan. I don't know how to because he has so much emotional and physical control over me. Again, in two months. Do you not do you not see Beth? Do you not see how somebody having this much emotional and physical control over you in two months is a bad thing? Like you should feel free in love. Love should feel freeing, not like you have to walk on eggshells. Not like you have to sacrifice yourself to make them happy. You should just be happy in your presence. You shouldn't have to be jumping through all these hoops, giving them every fucking thing in the world. What's he giving you? You're giving, the, you're giving this guy everything, but what's he giving you? Tears for your birthday? Come on. Come on, girl. Come on, man. You know better. You gotta kick him off his high horse. Ken provides the best information, and it's a comedy show, too, yes. It's both. I'm like a I'm like a sit down comedian, and a relationship coach all at once. But I'm not a relationship coach. Coach. I'm just a lucky girl. My crush said, "I do not like her," but said I am very protective of me. What do I do? But said I'm very protective of, of me. Open up more. I think she just wants you to open up more. Two months with them. Happy lunchtime. Happy lunchtime to you, too. You're a unicorn. Thank you. I don't feel like I'm a unicorn. There has to be more people out there like me. I don't feel I'm, I'm that special. He's just a lucky girl. He's just different from the other girls. Yes. I'm different from, from the other girls. I'm just a lucky girl. I'm lucky. I just get lucky. Everything I want, I get. I'm a lucky girl. I got lucky girl syndrome. I was born with it. Or maybe it's Maybelline. Yes. <laughs> no one else has a love ship, though. You're special. <laughs> I do have a 3027 love ship in the future. What is this? Oh, that's just a remake. That sounds very mean, girl. I mean, that's what that's what some of these toxic narcissists on um, TikTok are pushing. This whole lucky girl bullshit. Like we we are in a plague of narcissism. Like all this, every single tip for for women from women comes from narcissistic women being like, he should pay for everything. Like, here's the problem. Here's the problem if you, if all you want is a guy who pays for everything. Narcissists love controlling you and trapping you with finances. So th these, these tips of find a guy who's going to pay for everything and don't settle for less, they're basically saying, hey, increase your chances of dating a narcissist because they're a narcissist. And all that matters to them is, is money because they don't feel love. So if you don't feel love, love is number one in the world. If you don't feel love, then you then number two becomes number one, which is money. You're amazing. Thank you. Even though he said he cared and basically loved me, even though he never said it, he said he felt it. They are all plastics. They're all they're all narcissists. They're all narcissists. Everybody who everybody who pushes lucky girl syndrome, narcissists. Every girl who <clears throat> every girl who pushes Date guys who pay for everything, 
Never split a meal. Narcissist. My narcissist made me pay for everything. So here's the so, goddess guide. Um, there's feminine narcissist and there's masculine narcissist. A feminine narcissist doesn't mean female. A man can be a feminine narcissist. A feminine narcissist wants you to pay for everything. A masculine narcissist insists on paying for everything because they want to control you with their finances. Quit your quit your job. Quit your passions. Quit your career. I'll take care of everything. So you can't escape. You can't afford to. You can't afford to escape. Vasi, hello. The feminine the feminine narcissist, again, not female, is the lazy narcissist. So a narciss the, the masculine narcissist is super high hyper focused on success and work and money and um, controlling you with their finances. The feminine narcissist is super lazy and entitled. Take care of me. I'm pretty. Pay for everything. Ken is blowing my mind with this information. I know. I don't. I've never heard anybody talk about it like this other than me. So this feminine masculine narcissist idea comes from me because there's there's a combination of narcissistic traits. So this is completely completely for me. And again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a therapist. So you can take everything I say and just wipe your ass with it. Throw it away in the trash for all I care. But through my paying attention to patterns, that's how I classify it. I classify masculine narcissists, who again can be a man or a woman, who is super hyper-independent, um, dismissive avoidant, focused on work, friends, escaping the relationship. And then we have the feminine narcissist, take care of everything, pay for me, um, I'm pretty, I'm entitled. I deserve the world. I'm a lucky girl. I got lucky girl syndrome. My narc told me, told me to, drop, to drop out of college. There you go, Reginald. Reginald, what do you need for college for? What do you need college for, Reginald? You don't you don't you don't need to learn a trade. You don't need to follow your passions, Reginald. I'll take care of everything. I'm gonna pay for everything. So you can't escape. <laughs> I gave him all my time and energy. He ba he basically only saw me at night and during the day on the weekends. But I feel that's why I now want Princess Treatment because I treated him like a <laughs> like a princess, so it's my turn. You should be treating each other like princesses and princes. It should be balanced. You treat me like a prince sometimes, I treat like you like a princess sometimes. Like most of the time, I'm gonna treat you you like the princess. But it's nice when a girl's like, I got you this time. You get us all the time, I got you. Like, like somebody pointed out in a previous live of like, if a guy, if a guy makes an effort to fly to me, I'm going to pay for the food. I'm going to take care. I'm going to take care of him, him um, food wise while he's here. Cause it's a trade. Like you spent all this money to get here. I'm going to spend the money on the food. And we love that. We love, we love an equal partnership. We love people who give to each other, who recognize the sacrifice you made of spending four or $500 to get to me. So I got you while you're here. We love that. We love to see it. Not gonna lie, if a man told me to quit my job so he could take care of me, I probably would. <laughs> I probably would. I'm done here. So there's a difference between quit your job and quit your passion. You know, like you you being okay to quit your job, you're clearly not passionate about it. But if it's like your career, your passion, a hobby, going to college so you can so you can learn something, start your own business, and they're trying to stop that, 